Speaking of the playoffs, the race is really tight in District 10 3A where Troy McGregor and Cameron Yo are fighting for the final two playoff spots. Troy comes in well rested after a bye week. They're currently tied with McGregor at two and two. Tomorrow night they'll look to get one step closer to a playoff berth if they can take down Cameron Yo. The Yeomen are two and three in district play and in need of a desperate win. Despite Cameron Yo's three and six overall record, head coach Ronnie Porter says they are still a dangerous team. We're expecting them to throw the ball around a lot. And I think we can handle the run. The only thing we have to worry about is the pass, deep pass. We're not showing all that we can do, and I think that's a real big problem. But this week, I think we're going to we're going to take a big step, and we're going to get all the little things taken care of, and we're going to get better. You know, they're every year they're consistently good. This year, I, I feel like we we could have an advantage. You know, we play our play our game, we'll come out and beat them. On the flip side, Cameron Yo in a must-win situation, which is kind of hard to believe since they were ranked number one to start the season. Yeoman not only have to beat Troy tomorrow, but they have to win by at least seven points to ensure a playoff spot. Now, here's the bad thing. There is no next week due to a bye. Head coach Tommy Brashear talked about stopping this talented Troy team. They do a lot of things well. Troy is a good football team. Troy, uh, their kids play extremely hard. They fly around to the ball. They're well coached. Coach Porter does a great job over there. Uh, his his defensive, uh, defensive front is pretty good. They've got some good linebackers and some good D linemen. Nose guard's very good. Uh, they do a great job of not giving up the big play on defense. Some